Paul says, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. A woman appears to become possessed while shopping in a supermarket, and the apparent incident was all captured on surveillance. <laughs> in China attempted to assist her, she let out a loud scream, frightening the onlookers. Now, if you notice the word against appears no less than five times, it's adversative in Greek. He wants you to know, the minute you start praying, the minute you start dreaming a vision for God, the minute you start living a life of Christian distinction, the minute you start pursuing personal purity in your life, the minute you want your marriage to be consecrated to God, the minute you want your family to be, as Jonathan Edwards said, a little church where the dad is a pastor, you are in spiritual warfare. It's the rebuilding of a third Jewish temple in Jerusalem. Now that, of course, is a very controversial position since that is also the site of the third most important Muslim holy site, the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Let's take another trip back into the realm of paranormal tonight. Last night we had ghost hunters, now UFOs. That's right, and there is a Las Vegas guy making an extraordinary claim about extraterrestrials. So we sent Action News reporter Mike Delostrito to check it out. Mike? All right, guys, just listen up here. This guy says the Old Testament, written in Hebrew, taught him how to summon UFOs. All right, he says he can also do this on command, and he adds he's been doing it for 25 years, keeping all of it secret until now. These beings are here. They are here. They're just sitting right up there. We met up with Prophet Yahweh, seer of Yahweh, at Doolittle Park off Lake Mead. We picked the day, we picked the time, and we picked the location. Everyone's going to think you're absolutely nuts. Well, I thought I was absolutely nuts. Until he says he saw UFOs. Over the years, 1,500 of them. Can we make it uh, 1,501 today? What do you think? I'll try it. He says the voice in his head told him to go public now. So we took him up on his offer, and we scanned the skies. Nothing but a few clouds. When the prophet started praying for a sighting, I wasn't exactly convinced. I pray, oh Yahweh, that you sent a sighting so that they know that I am not mentally ill. I am not a false prophet like those who seek to kill me say I am. I see something straight up. Oh, brother, look at it. There it is. You can barely see it, a white speck. Then another sighting. There it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Photojournalist Jonathan Hawkins locks in on it. Let's take a closer look here. It's an orange sphere that appeared out of nowhere. I call the boss with an unexpected change in my story. I'm t I can see it clear as day. In fact, it's bright. I can't believe it. It's, it's moving pretty fast. It's going to Nellis Air Force Base. It wants to be seen. We called Nellis to see what these things might be. Guess what? They didn't call us back. But this thing started coming back toward us. It's yeah. coming toward us now, I think. What? See, it's coming up toward us. Whoa, man! Oh, hallelujah! Then, a few seconds later, it disappeared. It's going back up in space. Prophet Yahweh isn't concerned. He says it'll be back. And I'm still not quite sure what those things were. Now, if I didn't see this for myself, I probably would have just laughed this whole thing off. Prophet Yahweh says, though, this is just the beginning. He says we're going to see a lot more of these things starting.
Beauty. Awesome kid. Oh my gosh. Two of them. There's some really weird lights going up up in the sky over here in Garden Grove. See, look, it's turning red. It's crazy. The mysterious sight in the sky still has a lot of people talking this morning. Many New Mexicans called into our newsroom last night saying they saw this bright spot at just before 7. Our crews noticed it slowly changing colors throughout the night. Tell me what this is. How big is it? Kind of windy right now. Look. See? A lot of windy. See? 
and had this thing. Been stayed there for 30 minutes or something. So it doesn't look like a hot air balloon, guy. Look, nothing in the sky at all. And then all of a sudden, bam! What is that? Anybody tell me what that is? We're in the middle of the ocean on a ferry. Nothing around. Look. Nothing around. No land, no nothing. 